So guys, before we get into this vlog, I have some pretty exciting news. So there is this guy called Ryan Ko. He's 20 years old. He lives in America. Sorry if I pronounced that last name wrong. But um, around like two months ago, I found his channel. He produces incredible content. And um, I thought, you know, let's reach out to him. Let's figure out what he's doing right. Pretty much what I do whenever I find someone who's crushing it within their field. Um, I think he went from like 2,000 subscribers to 10,000 subscribers in like three months or something crazy like that. So he seriously is crushing it. I'm very lucky because I'm in a position right now financially where I can start putting good money towards my personal brand. Either it's already come out or it's going to come out, the iPhone 7 giveaway, th that was part of that. Um, I can start paying for more cam cameramen, uh, videographers to work for me, photographers, stuff like that, um, which I've already been doing. But I was on the phone to a lot of my friends who are influencers um, who have like 50k, 100k, 500k and I was asking them like, you know, where do, where do you think I should put this money? And um, funnily enough, they said editors. So I thought, what people, what editing style do I like that I'm seeing from people? Immediately, I was on the phone to Ryan. So this is like a test trial video. So basically, I'm just letting you know that Ryan will be editing this whole video um, in his style, um, which is insane. And then if I like it, if the process is smooth and we're both happy, then I'm hiring, I'm basically hiring Ryan as my editor for all my vlogs um, from next month. Just thought I'd let you know before we hop on this vlog. Actually, this is really important. Let me know your thoughts below. Do you think he edited it well? Um, do you think I should bring him on full time? Let me know. Super excited to hear. Now let's get into the vlog. What are you yelling for? You screaming out your lungs all day and night. I can't control a girl like you. Hello, oh, hello there. Good to see photos or videos saying sponsored by. So today is filled with my favorite thing: networking, meeting other people. Just had a meeting with Jacob for PhD management. Um, are you a big camera shy? Yeah. Big camera shy, that's right. Yeah, really good meeting. Talked about my personal brand, where to move forward with it. He has to run, so. Good to see you. See you too. Awesome to see you. Um, yeah, back at this place. It's a secret spot though, so um, yeah, really good meeting. Now on to the next one. Honestly guys, it has been a while since I picked up the camera and actually just vlogged, vlogged. And um, I can tell. Honestly, you get really, really stiff with these things. You get really stuck in your head. So next thing is just not as fun. I actually have to pop into the bank. Now there's two books that really inspire me to like, actually two books and an like experience that really inspire me to like try and get my money in order, especially at like this young age. Uh, number one, Money Master the Game, Tony Robbins. And number two, Unshakable. Once again, by Tony Robbins. As well as that, like this month has been incredible for business. Um, and then I've also looked at my expenses and I think like very quickly I'm realizing that it doesn't matter how much money you make, you will find a way to spend it on stupid shit. You'll like up your expenses. I, I mean, I don't even really spend money on stupid stuff that much, but I spend money on like giving back to friends, you guys, like personal brand, uh, traveling, stuff like that. But my point is like my lifestyle is shot up um, when my money is also going up. So I have to pop into the bank real quick. Also quickly try to write some notes. Uh, right after the bank, I have a client meeting. Um, we've had a verbal agreement that um, he's gonna come on board um, and do my lowest price point um, for marketing, my lowest package. Um, so we have a meeting right now and hopefully we can get a confirmation once again and go through with that. Actual reason I'm going to a bank is to try and automate a system so that when money goes in, it just goes out in percentages into other separate like mini accounts. Thanks a lot. Meeting at bank one done, bank two, HSBC done as well. All right, all that shit sorted out. First bank, Barclays sorted out my own personal account. Went to HSB, sorted out my business and savings account. I told you guys, hectic, hectic day. So straight from HD management, um, HD management meeting to sorting out on my finances, banking. Now I have to see Rue. Starbucks, two minutes down the road. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Boom, looking clean. Let's see what type of guy is he. 
What, what is that? That is a mocha decaf frappuccino with uh, light syrup. Mocha decaf. Why decaf? Because that's pretty straining. I don't really like coffee right after training. I like it before. Can I get a venti americano, please? Cardia. May I have your name? Uh, Chris. By the way, Chris is my Starbucks name because I just can't be bothered to say my own name. So that, if you guys were confused, that's why I said Chris. Boom, ice black Americano. It's for a real men drink. All right, see you bro. See Just chill. See you soon. From one meeting to the next. There he is. What's up? What's up? How doing? Good. 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 So move spots, but... Okay, so this is the second time in two days I've met with a subscriber. And they brought me chocolate. I mean, like, how oh, fucking nice. And he got me a coffee. So, thank you so much, bro. Really means the world. So, meeting with my mentor, Gabriel, got canceled, unfortunately. Um, but, I, uh, Ananya called me, my friend Ananya, and uh, she's in a bad state. So, I'm gonna go see her at Bluebird. Um, as for the meeting with Rue, um, went well, basically. One thing I've learned over time is like, unless it's a win-win, don't go for it. Uh, Cause at the end of the day, like it will come back to bite you in the ass. And um, right now, like he can afford, like it, it basically, you know, he's a personal trainer and um, I was pitching him my lowest package, which I don't usually do. Um, my lowest monthly retainer. Uh, and uh, basically he's like not in a place right now where he could afford it comfortably. So I said, you know, if it's not a win-win, I don't want to do it. Um, luckily I'm in a position where like I can turn down clients if need be. I said, you know, it's not a win-win. Let's wait one, two months and then if you're in a state to do it then, then let's hit it. But that's a big lesson, you know, you'll probably learn in business that unless it's a win-win, like sometimes you'll go into things knowing that it's not gonna work out, but you know, financially like there's a big incentive. Trust me, it always, com it always comes back to bite you in the ass. Your reputation, your time, yeah. it's not worth it. So unless it's a win-win, don't go for it. Long, long day of hustle, long day of meeting, networking, which at the end of the day is still my, f my favorite thing to do, but uh, end it off seeing a friend. Like, fuck it. You gonna, you gonna punch someone? I'm gonna punch someone. Aw, <laughs> oh, they've been mean to my little girl. Yeah. She's such a fucking bitch. <laughs> stop, stop. Hundreds of people are seeing this. I'll put the camera down. You can bitch then. Yeah, really? Just like Nihiri got it to me? Have you calmed down a bit, Hindi, yet? I don't like food. You don't like... Oh. You don't like guac? God damn it. No way. Same hoodie, as always. What is it? What are those? Are those khakis? No, dude, this is silk. They're is that from Egypt. Did you get that done in Egypt? How much does that cost you, like 40p? Yeah, not even. Right, you look terrible, dude. Thanks. Wow, another one came. There you go, baby, bro. Oh, oh, I dropped some guac. Oh, 420. It's 420. <laughs> You're definitely stoned. No one just brings fruit <laughs> fruit rolls on 420. <laughs> you have the munchies. I have the munchies. But I'm not stoned. Happy 420. Happy 420. Boom, back on the vlog. Hi. Boom. What's your name? What's your name? Robin. Touch your boobs back, Sin. Uh, I know. <laughs> Welcome oh, no. back on the vlog. So, t are you playing Spanish songs? Yeah, but it's like it has like Justin Bieber. Can you turn it off? <laughs> no. I'm trying to vlog here. Okay, Ananya, serious question. Yeah? What's it like being around me with like all the vlogging? Does it get annoying? I'm so used to it. I'm not even so I love how to tilt down. You're so short. Ah! No, I'm so used to it. I've known you for so long. Ooh. Ooh. It's giveaway tomorrow. Details released tomorrow. Well, that's if I don't take it. Please don't take it. We just like take it now. No, there is there's a kid in need of an iPhone who's going to get sure, a like, quality has an brand iPhone. new uh, yeah, I, whatever. All right, guys, so we're in the gym. We're here with Lewis. We're going to get into a leg workout. As you can see the tire is on. Um, I've been just avoiding legs for so long. It's one of those things when like you fall out of it It's just hard to get back into it. But yeah, I'm gonna jump this leg workout I'm gonna leave you guys with like a short 30 45 second edit. So we will jump into that in three two Boom. 
So guys, as of late, I've been spending roughly like 40 to 50 pounds a day on food. So um, my cheaper alternative is getting all my food from Whole Foods, prepping like two, three days in advance. So Chef Iman, like this is the beginning of my meal prepping, all that good stuff. Still eating out with friends and whatnot, but you know, just trying to spend you know less money, bring down my expenses. Um, but yeah, hit a workout, legs, fucking hate it because I, I haven't been hitting it recently, but um, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As I said, this video is going to be edited by Ryan Ko. Um, I'll leave his um, channel in the description. He's super dope. He has like 10K subscribers. Does very professional videography, photography work. Um, just incredible guy. Um, but can you let me know? Let me know in the description. Um, do you enjoy that editing style of video? Do you think it's good? Do you think I should bring him on board? Um, and if I bring him on board, as I said, uh, I'll be pumping out three vlogs a week and he'll be doing all my editing. He'll be my full-time editor uh, for my vlogs. Um, so yeah, let me know in the description. Edited well, not, should bring it on board, let me know. Um, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Let's cue the outro in three, two. We're secretly out of control. Nobody knows it but my mom.